how to play straight gin. Grab a friend, pull out a deck of cards, and get comfortable. Straight gin is easy to learn. You will need a deck of cards, two players, a table and chairs, and pens and paper. Optional, a computer with internet access. Step one, remove the jokers and shuffle the deck. Each player draws a card. Whoever draws the highest card deals the first hand. Shuffle the cards back into the deck and deal 10 cards each, alternating between players. In Jin, aces always have a one point value. Face cards are worth 10 points, and number cards have the value of their number. Step two, place the remaining cards face down in a stack, creating the stock. Pick up the top card and place it face up next to the stock. This is the discard pile. Step three, the object of the game is to score the highest number of points by laying all of your cards on the table before your opponent does. To do this, collect in your hand melds of three or more suited sequential cards, like the eight, nine, and 10 of hearts, or three or more cards of the same rank, like three sevens or three jacks. If you don't have a partner or a deck of cards, you can also join a gin game for free online. Just type free gin card games into a search engine. Step four. The player who didn't deal goes first by taking either the top card from the discard pile or the top card from the stock so they momentarily have 11 cards in their hand. Then, they discard an unwanted card, placing it face up on the discard pile. Discard cards that are unlikely to create melds. Keep cards in the same suit and cards in the same rank. Step five, continue the game with players taking turns, each drawing and discarding. Step six, the first player to have enough melds puts them all face up on the table, discards the final card in the discard pile, and calls out Jin. Their score is the total of the cards still in their opponent's hand, plus a 20-point bonus. Step seven, continue the game, alternating dealing until one player reaches 100 points, or any score both players agree to. Did you know? Chinese immigrants may have introduced Jin to the US in the 19th century.